Big Tech Earnings Week is about to heat up. On Super Thursday, at least 35% of the Nasdaq 100 QQQ will report second calendar quarter results, all within a matter of minutes after the closing bell. Other than Apple AAPL, a company that I follow closely, I will be certainly paying attention to Amazon's AMZN numbers. In February, I believed that 2020 would be Amazon's comeback year, and I doubled down on my optimism last month. I believe that the second quarter will reinforce bullishness on this name, even if some investors may be justifiably concerned about valuations at current levels. Credit, Kalinga TVA great quarter for e-tail I would be very surprised to see Amazon post anything but strong results in its large e-commerce segments, 61% of total 2019 revenues in North America, 27% in international markets. My optimism is based less on a hunch than an observation of the available data. U.S. retail sales have ebbed and flowed in the second quarter, as the chart below suggests. April marked what was perhaps the worst month of retail sales in the country's modern history. But the recovery in May and June was swift, and much better than expected. Of course, regarding Amazon's e-commerce business, a closer look under the hood is needed. Source, trading economics even in April, when the general retail sector seemed to be falling apart, non-store sales still increased by a healthy 8% as the country sheltered in place and shopped from the safety of home. The month of May saw a similar increase that, granted, paled in comparison to the performance of other retail channels. In June, non-store sales skyrocketed by more than 23%. These are all macro-level numbers that do not take into account Amazon's likely market share gain over competitors. I also expect Amazon's international division to produce solid results in the second quarter. In many countries across the world, the COVID-19 crisis and the resulting economic impact have been addressed better than in the US. Therefore, 1Q20 momentum, when revenues increased by 17%, should carry forward into the most recent period. Cloud growth could slow down Amazon's cloud infrastructure and platform business experienced impressive revenue increase of nearly 33% YOY in the first quarter. However, judging by the results reported by key competitor Microsoft MSFT, growth may fall a bit short of early 2020 numbers. The graph below shows the quarter-to-quarter -quarter acceleration and deceleration in Azure's revenue growth rate since the start of calendar 2017. Notice that the dip in the most recent quarter was the most pronounced over the three-and-a-half-year period, all numbers below are in percentage points. While Microsoft has labeled the results, in line with expectations, the pickup in cloud adoption in the March quarter may have eased this time around, both for Azure and for AWS.